And when you talk about history, uh, here's a little history for you as well. This is actually something I think Yogi Berra might say. Mm -hmm. It really is amazing what you can see when you look around. And really, that's what happened when I stumbled upon a forgotten moment of baseball history in Sugarland. I noticed this picture. It was part of a shrine to one of the most beloved members of the Sugarland Skeeters. Most people who swing by Constellation Field flat out miss it. Even the employees here, who do notice that small photograph in a hallway, are only now seeing the big picture. Until y'all came out here, I had no clue. I walked by that, you could probably count over close to a thousand times. I don't know what the significance of that top picture, the significance of it now. Well, here's the significance. It's mentioned within a tiny caption on the wall. The first meeting of two organized baseball teams where both managers were African American. That's crazy, right? It's unbelievable. By the way, I wasn't a very good manager. I lost some eight in a row. Grover Deacon Jones now has the fancy title of special assistant to the Skeeters team president. And while he recalls being a Bush League manager, he is an all-star at commanding a room. You're looking at the picture. You know what I'm looking at? What? The background. I know. Nobody's there. That's what we lost eight in a row. That was baseball so history and no one was there. Yeah. That meeting in 1973 still made newspapers nationwide. Deacon was 39 then, running a White Sox farm club in Wisconsin. Wow. And that team wasn't very good, was it? No. Where his group met a Brewers team managed by a man named Bernie Smith. Bernie and I didn't talk much about it. We mentioned it. That's all. He said, we're going to make history. And I said, well, that's awesome. But, you know, I care, you know. It's only when I got older I realized important, how important history was. Deacon's playing history, including once hitting 409, is all over this huge, colorful poster seen on the concourse level. Making his way to the majors in the 1950s, he encountered all kinds of racism. That's life. I hold no animosity. What bothers me is that I've already been through the civil rights era and it's coming back around. But what troubles him the most at the age of 85 he believes we, the people, don't rely on our country's greatest natural resource, people with experience. Really upsets me. Here I am, you know how old I am. I'm an old goat. Been through it all. Young people walk around like this all day. The best resource they could have are older people. And they pass this up. And that is today's sermon from Deacon Jones. Yes, pictures can be worth a thousand words, but hearing about history from the source, here's more proof it's priceless. It is, and Deacon, whose father was a deacon, hence mm -hmm. the nickname, <laughs> An amazing guy, beloved in Sugarland, And if anyone out there knows where Bernie Smith is, we would love to reunite the two of them because what a remarkable story that is and sitting in a picture on a wall in Sugarland That everyone passed by. And, and had no idea it was there. Until you noticed it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jason.